Hello, this is Joseph Walker with SMB Nation. I am here inside Windows 8 Enterprise RTM, and I'm going to be showing you a secure cloud-based backup solution for single users or small and home offices. The core of this system relies on what are called VHD files. A VHD file, otherwise known as a virtual hard drive, is basically a single file that's like an archive so to speak sort of like a zip or a RAR archive to just to wrap your heads around it and that sits on my C drive um, but it actually spawns an entire virtual file structure when I mount it so if you look at my data drive right now there if I, I'm clicking on it right now and nothing opens but if I mount my data.vhd which I have mapped as my V drive you see that I need to unlock my drive because it is BitLocker 256-bit AES encrypted. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I need to put in my secure encryption key to unlock it. The drive is now unlocked. And if I click on my drive, you see my entire file structure. So all of these files you know they perform quickly you can see how fast that opened so I'll go ahead and keep that um, you know here I can open files and this performs with the same level of performance as a normal hard drive so all of the work that I do um, and all the data that I create for the most part gets saved into that virtual drive which is just one single uh, a file that's sitting in my SugarSync file folder. And now with SugarSync, if I click over here, I've made some changes to that folder. So it is, um, it has already determined what those changes are, and it's now applying those changes uh, via differential block level backup to the data.vhd file that is resident in the cloud. So let's say, let's go ahead and look at what files I have on SugarSync. And the beauty of this solution is that even though my VHD file is open and potentially being edited, I'm still able to back that file up without any problems. So here's the, um, the data.vhd right here. And I'm going to go ahead and look at some of the other versions. You can see that it also was backed up just a little earlier today when I was working on it and this morning after I woke up and, and made some changes to some files. And it, it'll go ahead and keep up to five past versions of that file, which means that I have five past versions of all of my files you know, that are here on my V drive. Remember that each one of these data.vhd files is in essence my entire V drive. Now let's say that I had a catastrophe and my hard drive crashed and I needed to get my data on another computer. It would, it would be as simple as, um, and I'm going to go ahead and eject that, but the process would be as simple as pretending I'm a new user now. Let's say that I just got onto a new computer and nothing is open and I have no V drive, it's not there, what I would need to do is go to the cloud via a web browser. I could go to SugarSync's website and I would log in. I'm already logged in right now and then I click on my folder. Here's my VHD. Now right now because you know the changes I just made are still pending I'm gonna go ahead and um, and download a older version. So I'm going to download this as data restore and save it. And unfortunately that process is going to take a little bit of time. Um, it, right now you see it's a 180 megabyte file so you know that would take a few minutes to download. For demonstration purposes only, I've already downloaded it, and I have it. Um, that's actually not the one I was going to use, but that's okay. I can use this one. So I'll go ahead and just move it over here. And with a simple right click and mount, it's going to tell me that this drive is encrypted and that I must unlock it. Unlocked. 
And now, when I click on my V drive, you see my entire file structure restored just like that. Everything's organized, and you see it, it acts just like a um, just like a normal hard drive. I can go ahead and drop files into there. Um, let's compare. They're both the same size, but let's keep that one. And if if you'll notice another thing, like if I open Word and I save a file, it defaults to my documents library, and my documents library here is actually mapped to my V drive. So all of my programs that deal with documents are going to default to that V drive. Now, I'm confident enough due to the encryption on the VHD file that there is no way that even if a hacker or anyone else managed to get my password to my SugarSync cloud account, that they could actually gain access to any of my files. And that's the beauty of the solution, is that even if SugarSync employs dastardly data center technicians or has lax security, I have already pre-encrypted every single one of my files without having to do anything other than setting up BitLocker on my drive, which means that nobody is getting access to that data except maybe if Microsoft has built in a backdoor for the CIA or something like that. So, you know, there is that slim possibility. But other than that, nobody is getting access to my data. And so this is a demonstration of how the cloud can be simple, secure, and private. In fact, arguably just as private and secure, probably more private and secure than an on-premises system can be that isn't using encryption. So there you have it. And just to demonstrate that I am confident that this is completely secure, I'm going to give anyone who wants the opportunity to, um, to download this file. And if you can, one second, um, if you download this file and you can um, decrypt it and access it, then I've included in that document a lot of sensitive info, or in those documents, a lot of sensitive information, including my social security number, a copy of my birth certificate, and pretty much all the information that would be needed to utterly and completely steal my identity. Um, what's more, if that's not of interest to you, I'll be happy to go on record right here, right now, as saying that I will pay anyone who can show me a copy of any of my files that are saved on that VHD file in SugarSync. Um, I will give you $500. I'll write you a check, send you a PayPal wire, whatever you want to do. And here is my email address, and you can also contact my company. That's SMB Nation. I am on record right here right now as saying that this is a completely secure and private solution. Now if SugarSync goes under and their data centers sync, then I might not be able to get access to my files if I don't also have it backed up um, physically, which I do, but nobody else is going to be able to get access to my data. So if anyone's interested in, uh, in taking up that challenge and you have any success, feel free to shoot me an email and I will happily reward you for your genius. Thanks a bunch, folks. Bye-bye.